Let's check in on weather now with Nebraska Extension and climatologist Eric Hunt. Eric, November is, is obviously here, and that usually means that the colder temperatures are here to stay. Is that what you're looking uh, at as we turn to the week ahead? Well, thanks, Bryce. I think we can safely put away the shorts and T-shirts for the season. Uh, but it doesn't mean we won't have some nicer days to be outside. But just remember to set your clocks back tonight. So let's start off this week with uh, taking a look where we had some snow in the pumpkin. This is uh, last Saturday into Sunday morning. So again, we had some four-inch totals out here in Dual County and some three to four inch totals up in Knox and Cedar counties with the broad portion of the state picking up uh, about one to two inches. Uh, probably just mostly a nuisance for most folks. And all we had here in Lincoln were a couple of flurries. In terms of precipitation, we did have some heavier precipitation last Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, so big winters were just uh, east of Ord. So Greeley County upwards uh, up two, three inches of rain there. And we did have some four inch rain totals uh, around Norfolk. So again, a couple, two or three different observers there reported some uh, four to four and a half inch rain totals. That also looks, looks like it extended to Pierce County. Uh, filming has been early this week, so I'm not showing the latest drought monitor, but again, you probably will see some changes uh, for the good up in this part of the state as we look for the map later this week. Uh, in terms of 60 day precipitation departures, so from the 1st of September through the end of October, uh, again, we've generally been drier than average down here in southeastern Nebraska with a lot of one to three or even some cases four inch precipitation deficits going back to 1st of September. North of Platte, though, especially in north central northeastern Nebraska, broad two to four, even some cases six to eight inches above average uh, for the last two months. And that's where we really have seen some significant improvement in terms of drought monitor. We also have seen, more importantly, some very nice changes in terms of root zone soil moisture. So again, according to this NASA model, we have actually seen uh, really some positive changes here across a lot of north central and northeastern Nebraska in the last two or three weeks with the heavier rainfall events. Uh, still very dry down here in southeastern Nebraska. Now, this is not an absolute value of moisture. This is basically being that we are very dry for this time of year. More reflection has been a dry fall. Uh, kind of the same thing out here in parts of southwestern Nebraska. Where we just really haven't picked up as much moisture in the last 30 to 45 days. So in terms of the week ahead, uh, I don't have any major storms uh, in the forecast for you, but we do have some scattered showers that probably will be moving into parts of northern uh, and eastern Nebraska Sunday night into Monday. Uh, the heavy precipitation looks to be well east of us in the Ohio Valley. We have another storm system moving into the central U.S. middle of next week, it looks like. Uh, so there are definitely probably a little stronger chances of rain with this. But we still have a little bit of uncertainty in the model. So again, I'm filming this on Tuesday afternoon. So at this point, this still is quite uncertain in some cases. So the strength of it, right now, this does not look like a major rain or snow producer for anywhere in the state. It just looks like maybe a quarter to half inch of rain for parts of eastern Nebraska. But stay tuned. Things could change a little bit. It uh, looks like we'll have a brief cool down followed by some mild temperatures later next week. So in terms of uh, getting into the more closer to the middle portion of the month, uh, what the CPC is right now currently expecting is a broader ridge to develop across the western United States, which should bring uh, most of the Nebraska into uh, good chances for having above average temperatures. So I think we will we'll be back into some mild air as we head into the middle of November. Um, no real signal either way for precipitation, but there is some signals we might actually start getting some better moisture into our area later in the month. Thanks. Back to you, Bryce.